So welcome back, I believe we have gone at length at explaining the spirituality of man. And in our previous lesson, we explained how men are created and the connection between the spiritual and the physical, in which we want to get to a place where we put a base in one to understanding visions and dreams and how they operate and how you get to a place where you fully understand the operations of all these things. I explained in God creating man, the Bible tells us that when God created man, the Bible says in God created man, he created um, the, 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 the body of a man out of dust and he breathed his spirit into the man and man became a living soul which brought out the formulation of man being divided into three structures as one being in which we are explaining you would understand that we explain that man is created in a way he has the body he has the soul and he has the spirit all right man is created with a body the soul and the spirit these are the three things that you find in the creation of man the body the soul and the spirit in which the soul is then divided into three when you look at the soul of man in which in the soul of man we will then have uh, the mind the emotions and the will all right this is what makes up a man all right this is what makes up a man this is what makes up a man um so all this tells us that the, the relation of man that man is created relatively joining up the what the body uh, the soul and the spirit and we explained the influence of the mind the, the the emotions and the will as far as spirituality is concerned that whenever god communicates you would understand the relation between these three uh, fundamental structures in a man the body coming to a place where it becomes the receptive of communication that after the information has been processed in the spirit you then hear a person begin to prophesy verbally and say that says the lord you begin to hear a man begin to speak to 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 us um, with an open voice to say the lord is saying but there is a process that goes with this whole process you have to look at where is where all this is coming from because we we have to really relatively understand that as god communicates to man and as god brings out his message to man what happens is in most of the cases um when god speaks all right when God speaks most of the times when God speaks what happens is in the communications in the dealings of God when God is speaking the message what happens is the the real flow of the message because you have to understand that we have three processes which is number one reception all right number one we have reception number two we have translation all right we have translation and number three we have delivery all right so in reception we are talking about in reception we are talking about a process where one would have received a message and in as much as one would have received a message right here on reception what when you receive a message we are talking about the the spiritual receptacle the bible says a carnal man cannot receive the things of the spirit because they are spiritually descent so the reception you understand that it will happen on the process 
of the spirit that is where reception will happen and translation because already the spirit when it receives information the information is wholly full all right so translation happens here on on a man's soul that is where we have translation all right then when we talk about the delivery the delivery you see it happen on this aspect uh of the body that is when one can boldly stand and start to prophesy starting to see visions and it is on the soul that we will have a lot of challenge because on the soul that is when i explained to us that we have the mind and when we talk about the mind when we have the mind we have thoughts on the mind all right on the mind we have thoughts on the mind we have reasoning Sometimes I believe you have, you have done it that when God has spoken to you, you begin to reason a lot, all right? You begin to reason a lot. And we have emotions. Emotions, they affect a person, especially we spoke about that here on the aspect of, on the aspect of the soul, that is where we have the translation part. And you then come to a place where you'd realize that we get a lot of confusion around this aspect of emotions because your emotions, most of the times determines how you translate things it determines how you perceive things all right and the will it's all about decisions so in most of the times you would realize that the process will, will will go in a place that when you join when you join the emotions and the your mind that is when we get what the will is so in most cases the will the will will come as a decision of what the emotions and the mind would have already decided. But when we now go through the uh, uh, through the Bible, you would then begin to understand that in this whole process, that is where there is a breaking down of men. And in as much as there is a breaking down of men, we have to understand the other process of the spirit being in a man because that gives us an open mark or that gives us an open play of how one should operate as a man as as we get in where did we find the aspect of the prophetic and where did we see the foundation of god coming to a place where he lives in in men when you read your bible you'd understand if we take our bibles if we take our bibles um if we take our bibles to the book of jeremiah chapter 17 verse number nine the bible tells us a particular scripture where the bible says that the heart is the most deceitful above all things it is sick extremely sick who can fully understand the secret motives of a heart that is the heart all right and we are talking about the aspect here of the mind now where the soul is where we have the mind we have the, um, the emotion emotions and we have the what the will that is the aspect of the mind so the bible says that the lord searches the mind of him ex searcheth and examine the mind and tests the heart the process in which god comes to a place where he brings out men so in as much as in as much as we want to understand and bring you to task we have to go through a process where you have to begin to examine your mind examining your mind seeing where you are operating in your mind and see the aspect in which you um your, your mind is so much clear you, you are examining yourself and you examine yourself through practice through studying studying your growth in the spirit studying how you receive spiritual knowledge studying how you receive when god communicates to you and the bible says that god tests the heart all right when we are talking about the heart we're talking about the emotions and the decisions all right so the emotions and the will are joined on the aspect of the heart so we can actually now begin to divide the soul between the mind and the heart in which the heart is about the emotions and the will so the heart is going to be tested so god tests the heart in most of the times that is where you see god bring out different kinds of messages as it comes to men so that is why the spirit had to come because 
the, the, the soul is, in, is, is inhabited in the heart. And when you read your Bible uh, clearly, you would understand that the reason, the reason why we, we, we have to, to, um, we, we have to, to look at the heart more closely. It is because of the reason of how God communicates the, communicates the aspect of a man's heart. I want us to go to the book of Joel. I want us to go to the book of Joel. All right? I want us to, if we take our Bibles to the book of Joel, Joel chapter number, number two. All right. In Joel chapter number two, the Bible tells us the intentions of God. In Joel chapter number two, the Bible tells us the intentions of God. You can read from verse number 28. In Joel chapter number two, from verse number 28, the Bible says, It shall come to pass after this that I will pour out my spirit upon mankind. I will pour my spirit upon mankind. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your, your young men shall see visions even even every female male servant i'll pour out my spirit in those days all right and i'll show signs wonders displaying power in the heavens all right god will show power so you would realize all right so god then in explaining this is what we have all right uh, this is what we have in understanding spirituality. For us to come to a place where we can hear God in the dimensions that he hears God. God, the Bible says, uh, the God said, I will pour out my spirit. All right. So we have to understand the aspect of outpour. Outpour of the spirit. All right. So first, there has to be an outpour of the Spirit in which if we are talking about the outpour of the Spirit, we are actually talking about what? The Holy Spirit. All right. The Holy Spirit. All right. So the, the Bible says, I'll pour out my spirit upon, uh, up, up, upon all flesh. All right. So the Holy Spirit poured. On all flesh. The Holy Spirit has been poured on all flesh. It has been poured on all flesh. And in the pouring of all flesh, what you begin to see, the Bible explains uh, that when I pour on all flesh, which means uh, mankind, all right, which means everybody, the Bible says, your sons and daughters. All right, so this number one, number two, the Bible says, your sons and daughters, daughters shall prophesy, prophesy visions, dreams. All right, now you would understand that when God speaks, all right. When we talk about God speaking, when we talk about God speaking, especially to humanity, you'd understand that it is divided into three. Whenever God is to communicate or is to speak to humanity, all right, the very first thing that you you would see, God communicates through what, through uh, His voice. All right, he communicates through his voice, and most of the times on this aspect, we are talking about prophecy. Prophecy that is, uh, that says the Lord. The second way you see God communicate is through visions. All right, visions. When we talk about visions, we are talking about. Um, we are talking about you seeing with your eyes while it's with open eyes, all right? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and the third way that God communicates, it is through dreams. 
all right which is one of my favorite because of reasons i will explain so when we talk about these three you would understand v uh, i always call vis visions i always call them um i always call them dreams you see you see a work all right dreams you see when you are awake and when we talk about dreams we are talking about night visions all right we can just say these are dreams that come to you, you, you these are visions you see at night visions at night so that is specifically how god comes to a place in which he operates that is specifically how god communicates to men that is specifically how god communicates to men so you will then come to a place where you understand that when god communicates or when god speaks there is a process to the communications of god or there's a process in which god uh, brings forth his message because when god speaks this is the sequence of god speaking to men all right when god speaks he speaks to what to the spirit when god speaks when god speaks he speaks to the spirit so when god is speaking his message what happens is it comes to the spirit right here when god speaks he speaks to the spirit he speaks to the spirit all right when i speak about your the spirit i'm talking about your spirit i'm talking about your spirit and the moment he speaks to the spirit all right the message he speaks is now is translated around the what the soul all right so after the message has been spoken it goes to the soul and after the soul we all understand that now we are talking about your body all right after the message has been translated then it goes to your body where then you as a believer we are now seeing you coming to a place where you are prophesying that says the lord the lord is speaking so what happens is is god to be communicating or as god will be speaking all right this is the sequence in which he operates into visions and all so the bible tells us in the book of joel all right the bible tells us specifically in the book of joel god says i will pour out my spirit that is in joel 2 verse 29 all right all right joel two verse 28 all right joel 2 verse 28 the bible says i'll pour out my spirit and your sons and daughters shall prophesy it means once the spirit comes upon you you have to start to prophesy but in as much as god has communicated the aspect of prophecy there are uh, other things that we need to understand as children of god because the spirit is already there but how does one come to a place where you fully operate in this thing how do you come to a place where you fully operate in this thing the very first thing that you understand like what i explained the first thing that one has to know for you to fully operate is that you need to come to a place where you are filled with the spirit all right you need to come to a place where you are filled with the spirit and the reason why god communicates with your spirit or the reason why god speaks to your spirit it is because when you read your bible in the book of uh proverbs 20 verse 27 the bible tells us that the spirit or conscience of a man all right the spirit of a man um of a man is the lamb of god searching and examining the inner parts of his being all right so you will then now understand as as we explained those three parts that when we are talking about men when we are talking about men all right if we are to talk about men we we, we explain that there is on men there is the spirit there is the body and there is the mind there is the spirit there is the body and there is the mind Mind. and the bible tells us that the spirit of a man this spirit 
This spirit is the kendo. Kendo of God. All right? This spirit. This spirit. It is the kendo of the Lord. So the spirit is the kendo of the Lord. And it is this spirit that the Bible says that it searcheth. The spirit searcheth the inner parts of a man. It means it examines it examines the soul of a man. The very same spirit. It examines the soul of a man. It examines the soul of a man. So that is why now you have to come to a place where you know how to invest into the spirit being uh, to your spirit being and now the, the interconnection of the spirit and the spirit and um and uh, and, uh, and 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 immense and uh, immense being when you take your bible uh, directly um in the book of um in the book of first corinthians chapter number 12 uh, 2 verse 11 the bible says for what person knows the thoughts and motives of a man except the spirit of a man within him so the spirit is the one that knows what is within and the bible says that for what for no one knows the thoughts of god except the spirit of god no one knows the thoughts of god except the spirit of god all right no one knows the spirit of uh go, of god uh the thoughts of god except the spirit of god so we, we we then begin to understand that um when we are to talk about the thoughts all right when we are to talk about the thoughts um of men all right when we are to talk about the thoughts thoughts are reviewed all right by the spirit all right thoughts are reviewed by the spirit so specifically in first corinthians 2 verse 11 that's in 2 corinthians 2 verse 11 first corinthians 2 verse 11 all right corinthians 2 verse 11 one in one corinthians 2 verse 11 so the 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 the, 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 the thoughts of a man the thoughts of a man men's thoughts are revealed by his spirit all right and the bible tells us that in the very same nature all right the holy spirit all right knows the thoughts of god So the thoughts of God are known by the Holy Spirit. So if a person wants to come to a place where they can know what is the thoughts of God, you have to make sure that you create a relationship. You create a what? You create a relationship. All right? you create a relationship with the holy spirit you have to create a relationship with the holy spirit there has to be a relationship created with the holy spirit if you are to come to a place where you are to have that relation uh, that consistent communication with god and the bible says it is from that aspect that we get to you we get to have revelations of even the materials or that that are given to us the resources spiritual resources that are uh, given to us freely by god understanding the resources that are given to us freely 
by God. Resources given to us freely by God. It is through our relationship with God and constant communication with God. Now, as, as God begins to communicate with us, there is one of the things that we have to understand that in as much as God now begins to communicate with humanity or in as much as God begins to communicate with us, we have to understand the effect of relationship, all right? So it is that it is it is through that relationship that men get to access all right it is through that relationship all right that we access divine realities all right divine realities divine realities what what comes from the spirit or what is given from the spirit is through that very same relationship and you will get this relationship through in most cases in understanding god's word i want you to take your i want you to take your bible to i want you to take your bible to the book of um to the book of Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2 Ezekiel chapter 2 verse number 2 all right so he spoke to me the spirit entered me and he lifted me up he spoke to me the spirit entered me he spoke to me the spirit entered me so his word when he is speaking all right he spoke to me the spirit entered me so one of the aspects of you growing in uh, being led by the spirit is understanding his word all right it is through understanding his word it is through understanding his word all right it is through understanding his word so you grow in your relay in you you grow in your relationship with him you grow in your relationship with him through what You go in your relationship with him through understanding his word. All right, through understanding his word. So as you understand his word, the Bible tells us that those that are led by the Spirit, they are called what? The sons of God those that are led by the Spirit they are called the sons of God so I believe beyond any doubt that somebody has gotten understanding and I believe that you have come to a place where you have learned and grown in aspects of um, of understanding spiritual realities to a place that when we meet for our next lesson you'll be having so much insight and understanding god bless you